Hi everybody, Amanda here. Just letting you know about our August auction. The auction is on the 4th of August and viewing is on the 4th of August from 12 till 6. However, you may come along on Saturday, the 2nd of August, and that's from 11 till 4. There are lots of things to see. You need to at least allow an hour for it, but I would imagine more. So I'm just going to tell you about the things that I like because I'm not the expert, David is. Let's not forget that little detail, very important here. So I thought I'd tell you about a few things that we got from the officer's mess at Victoria Bar uh, Barracks. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Victoria <laughs> Barracks, St Kilda Road. Yes. And one of the things that they gave us that I really like is these lanterns. I think they're fantastic. Don't really know how old they are, but they certainly have some age to them. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fantastic lanterns. I think they're fabulous. I really like them. There's um, other, all these things are from there. Or oh, there's a number of decorative prints and um, things like that that they had. I'm just avoiding you for a sec. I'm just looking at, uh, showing some things that we've got I in the auction. I've this many times and I, I, I don't understand what the cards mean. So I'm hoping when um, some of you guys come along to the viewing, you'll be able to enlighten me. This is something that I found very interesting. It's not from them, it's from another uh, collection. But it's a very interesting front door handle. The Victorian one? Yeah. So I find that quite fascinating at auction. And of also course. from oh, yeah, the same lots house. lots of interesting tools too. Yes, yeah, so have a so look at those. So if we come uh, back along here, things that I like. You like? I think this chest is really, really sweet. This is from the estate of Nan Smith Nan from Smith? Emerald. Emerald. She was well, an antique dealer about 25 years ago. I mother of pearl inlaid handles. I like the patina. I like the size. Let's have a look how I good like it is. I like the architecture of it. Hang on, stop. The drawers pull out really easily. Oh, yeah, you can see. No dust coming out. And in the auction, there's a number of tea caddies and boxes and such. And this is just a rather lovely little little box. I'm a collector of boxes, so I always look at them. Can't buy them all. I have to let you buy some, but there are. Now, we did a uh, valuation day at a retirement village in Shepparton, and one of the people that came along with goodies was a lady who had this wonderful Anglo-Indian box. As you can see, it's inlaid with mother of pearl and ivory, and all the pieces in there are ivory. There are a number of other very interesting things in this cabinet too. The other thing that I really like is this chest. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. For a large chest, I think it's really lovely. There's no clunkiness to it. This is also from the Nan Smith estate. And I personally really like that. I think it's a nice thing. And my taste is very eclectic, so I'm not just into any one period. I'm very much into things that are of quality. Lovely Georgian corner cupboard. From some, somebody the, very close to us. It's actually from one of our neighbours. In our he's streets. He's been saying to us for 20 years that he's going to sell some of his furniture. We have this and a couple of other oak pieces up there. Now, jo lots David, of Georgian David, pieces. Don't, don't do that. Don't do what? Stay on focus. Stay okay. On <laughs> we don't normally take pianos and I can't play, as you can see. But this is also from the Army. More lights. The other thing that I really like is this. It does need work. It does need cleaning. Am I allowed to say which estate this is Yeah, from? this is from the Cath Ballard. This is from Ballard. the Cath Ballard estate. Cath Ballard estate. From Q. Oh! It, it used to be a really nice piece until you opened the door. It does need some repair, <laughs> like the hinges. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't do that. I had absolutely no idea. I was going to say, don't open the door. Well, you didn't. You're too bloody slow. Now you go. Did you swear? Too bloody slow. And this is also from her I estate. Can't put it back. I'm not going to help you there. You've got to sort that. <laughs> The banjo was from her estate as well. Was she a banjo player? I think... That sounds terrible. Anyway... The St Stan Ballard, her late husband, was a banjo player. Oh, okay. And we've got lots of paintings from I him as well. That's a Grand Featherston stool. Yes, that's from the Caff Ballard estate. 
Now, David can take over. Really? Why? Because David keeps moving everywhere. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you can tell him about some of the lovely yes, we've ivory. Got some stunning pieces of ivory in the auction from a couple of estates. One from a very famous collector from uh, Eltham Way, who we knew very well, but unfortunately we can't mention his name, but we knew and him for a long time. And uh, recently departed dear friend. Yes, yeah, so, so lots of ivory from his estate, lots of interesting ivory, uh, Chinese and Japanese ivory, there's uh, antique pieces of- Tell them about the lovely chairs. Which chairs? The ones behind you. We've got 17 of them, haven't we? Yes, but I was just finishing- No, 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 the ivory, they have to come and see also, Tessa, the 17 chairs from the Victoria Barracks office mess. They used to sit in these. I wonder what interesting stories these chairs could tell us. And fibs. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I imagine some of them uh, will... Be... Oh, sorry, no fibs. Soldiers don't fib. No, they don't like Embellished them. stories. And in this section, we've got some Georgian sterling silver. Uh, lots some, of Georgian sterling yes, silver. Uh, this is from across the road, isn't it? From our neighbour. Well, we're not supposed to say where yes. it's from. Some Lalique, some Dorm Nancy pieces. We have a look. We've got lots of uh, estate jewellery as well, but it's put away so we can't find it for you. Well, tell them there are photographs on yeah, the website. Everything will be on the website, so you have a look at the website. Uh, in fact, it should be on a week before the auction. In here, there's a collection of rare Hagenauer cats. Everyone seems to think I'm the only one that collects Hagenauer, but this, these are not my cats. They've our friend in. collected them too. Yeah, our friend collected them as well. He had a few pieces. And that really cute little clock in there and oh. the uh, Bakelite barometer. Can you see that all okay? Is that showing up nicely in there? Well, we can tell them. We can tell them when they come Correct. and get it. Okay, and along here, some more Georgian pieces. If you have a look here, there's some Georgian pieces from across the road. Uh, there's also some Georgian pieces over there. If you look over next I'm one, not waving the camera across. Uh, right, you don't have to because this one doesn't, uh, this one, the new camera is working well. Along here. Yeah, but what about the operators? Don't worry about it. Along here, there's also a stunning work by uh, yeah, Jossel Bergner. Jump up. See the uh, oil by Jossel Bergner? They can't possibly miss it. A beautiful work from about 1998. And along this way, you're walking, okay? <laughs> Follow me. Or walk they can all way. see a big ball patch. Uh, I can't see it. So, uh, fantastic work by Haywood Veal. We sold that at our auction about 11 years ago, and it's come back again. Uh, there's interesting works along in their window display. Lots of interesting uh, works by Gus McLaren. Uh, David Armfield. Show them that lovely plate. That's the Gus McLaren one. This has come from an estate in Elfham, but unfortunately we can't mention the name. There was a lot of uh, Warren Dyke pottery pieces in it. And there's also uh, a, a big Reg Preston bowl that came in late as well. Unsigned? I, I, I think it is signed, Mandy. You're not but, sure. Uh, but the signature's uh, not visible. And along here, some works. But I've got to show you this for the rare Australian pottery collectors. Have a guess who that's by. Can you see it nice and clear? I think that all the people that know, know. We won't tell you. You have to look at the catalogue or we'll come into the viewing. It's extremely rare, 1930s. Won't say who it is, but you'll find it when you come to the viewing. I guess they're all guessing now who is a boy. Let's close so. this. Close this. There's more pieces along here. Uh, collections of fountain pens. Lots of interesting gold pieces. Um, wherever you look in the auction, there's fantastic things. So, don't forget the viewing for the auction. You got back onto me or you're moving around the room? No. The viewing for the auction, Saturday the 2nd of August, 11am to 4pm, Monday the 4th of August from 12 noon to 6pm. The auction starts at 6.30 and we want all those army people around Melbourne to come and view the auction and buy a bit of uh, army history. So, and besides buying some army history, you can buy some other things that we've got in the auction as well. Absolutely. So we'll see you at the auction. Bye.